Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I thought today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference between a few MDT chassis. Full disclosure, I shoot for MDT, but I did purchase their stuff before they picked me up as a sponsor shooter. Super pumped that I'm a sponsor shooter. Thanks MDT, shout out, your product rocks. The ATC is amazing. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Unfortunately, I don't have the full lineup, but I do have, starting from the LSS Gen 2, the ESS, and then my baby, which I was super proud and privileged to be a part of the design of the ACC. So let's actually order them uh, like this. It's very important to warm up before you handle a, a weighted up ACC. Um, all right, MDT LSS Gen 2, where does it fit in? In your safe, preferably. So LSS is an abbreviation for light sniper system. And she is pretty light. Uh, this is a 22 BR, uh, not balanced good, but it does balance really well once I attach my little atlas on the front there. And uh, this is a little setup for me personally doing some varminting, hence in a varminting round like the 22 BR. And I do run the little night vision hood thing on the front here. That is optional, it doesn't come like that. The reason I do that is quite a reason I do quite a lot of things. It just looks cool. I think it rounds off nicely on the front and I quite like that sort of cut out they've done there. It looks dope. And uh, what I'm running on the front is an Arca Swiss rail. Let me grab my bipod so I can just show you guys how that works. One second. The bipod's over here somewhere. So, with the Arca Swiss, I run these Arca Swiss adapters on all my chassis, so basically I can take one bipod and just go very easily between. I've made this too tight, there we go, because I'm multitasking. But then I can go between chassis pretty easily with one really nice bipod. Now guys, please, this is a little like issue I actually have, is often guys have beautiful rifle systems like this, and then they put a little, sh uh, almost use a bad word, they put a little cheapy bipod on there. And I promise you, because there will be wobble in your system when you're shooting or you'll introduce extra can, you will be missing shots because your bipod, as Frank would say, is the weakest link in your system. So please keep that in mind. Invest in a proper bipod if you've got a nice precision rifle system. Um, right, so that is the LSS Gen 2. And as you'll see now, she'll be much better balanced. Okay, let me park her down there. Let's take this off to the next rifle. Okay, so ESS, Elite Sniper System. Now, often guys ask me like, okay, Pete, because this is kind of the question I get. This is bonus chassis review, or not review, overview. Um, love this, by the way. Um, often people ask me, and today, in fact, somebody asked me, how do I choose ESS, ACC? Now, that's a really difficult decision to make because I think with the ESS, you've got a little bit more versatility. So I ran this ESS, this is a 223 Remington by the way, this is just my little training setup. I ran this ESS in this rifle actually for two full precision rifle seasons. I went to the precision rifle finale twice shooting the ESS. So it's not like it's not a competition chassis. Like it's extremely versatile. I just think that the ACC is sort of the next level up. So where does this fit in at the moment? Hmm, I think this is a really good option if you're looking at getting into the sport, you're not maybe, you know you want a chassis system, right? But you don't necessarily want to go full competition heavy into the chassis black hole. Um, uh, right, let me put this down. So, you know you want to get a chassis system, but you don't necessarily want to go absolutely all in hardcore competition chassis. I think this or this is a great option. If you're gonna be doing more hunting, I think LSS Gen 2. If you're gonna be doing precision rifle and occasional hunting, then I think this is a good buy. You can make it a little bit lighter and make it a little bit awesomer by adding the carbon fiber trim and the Arca bits and pieces to this too. Um, I really like the ESS, as I said, ran it for two full seasons. And then I was honored enough to be involved with the design process of the ACC. Now, uh, let me put the ESS down here, and then we'll sort of do a conclusion at the end. Right, so, ACC, 
adjustable core competition chassis or as I like to call it Alexa because she basically does whatever I ask her to do if I point her at something it's gonna go click um, I mean she's just Alexa stay see it's pretty simple she does the same thing on barricades um, I'm gonna put her down there really cool uh, flared magwell magazine just slips in there weight system you can run weights underneath the barrel in this section over here you'll see two weights on the side on here and two weights on the other side that's just how i'm running it at the moment um, but this is again as i said earlier full competition focused 100 percent you're going to shoot matches and matches alone now i'm probably the only person dumb enough to have gone hunting with this rig now what's pretty cool about that it is, is versatile in a way that you can in five minutes you can remove all the weights underneath the barrel and the weights on the side and then the weight does come down quite a bit having said that if you're running a heavy palmer barrel like i am and a vortex gen 2 razor your rifle is still not light but i have proven that it can be done so i did have an awesome hunt the other thing i really loved about hunting with my match gun not the carrying but that sucked but i did like the fact that i knew exactly where that trigger breaks and i knew where this rifle shoots I mean, I was shooting groups like this with it at a thousand meters the day before I went hunting. So, I mean, that gives you a lot of confidence in your gear and I would use this to go hunting again. I probably wouldn't carry it that far. So, in conclusion, where does everything fit in? I would say if you're gonna go heavy into shooting matches, you want to shoot the National Rifle League or Precision Rifle Style events, you can't go wrong with the ACC. Honestly, the way the weight system works, you can manipulate those balance points the way how it just sits on target is I've never experienced something like it. I did a ton of shooting. I've got way more rounds down this thing than with this thing. But damn, I will outshoot this gun. Even if I had the exact same barreled action in this, I will outshoot myself with this chassis over this chassis any day. And I know that for a fact because I train and I try and run a dummy stage of this and I try and run a dummy stage of that. And I know that this one is more stable with this. I can shoot faster, manage recoil better. So this would be your option. How much weight should you get? I would say get all the internal weights, maybe get two pairs of the side weights so you can play with those. I did run it with all the weights, as I said, but got a little bit heavy. So I think I've kind of found the perfect balance point for myself. Ha, huh, excuse the pun, but the, uh, the perfect balance of weight versus speed, you know? Then if you're gonna be doing some competition shooting, but you also want to maybe majority competition shooting, but you also want the option to be able to hunt with your gun. Again, I've done it with this one. It can be done, the ACC. But I would say your ESS is maybe a better bet for you then. Ran two full seasons with it, shot great, amazing chassis, looks gorgeous, especially with the carbon fiber trim. So if you want to be doing more hunting than target shooting, but you know you want to get rid of the factory stock that your rifle came with, I would say go with the LSS, and then you'll still be able to shoot matches with this. Absolutely no problem. By the way, I've also got the folding stock on uh, my ESS. Difficult to do with one hand, but what I do like about that is it does fold over the bolt. So when you're putting it in your rifle case, you're not having to deal with the bolt sticking out on one side and the stock sticking out on the other side like the Ruger Precision Rifle used to be. And when it locks up, it locks up solid. There's no wobble in this whatsoever. So that's kind of where we are with the three varieties of the MDT chassis. I hope you guys found this video beneficial. If you did, share it with a friend who's looking at one of these. And if you're based in South Africa, I obviously sell these, which is awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Smash the like button, hit the sub button. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. I can't always get to all of them, but I'd love to see your comments. and. Uh, Safe shooting, get out there, shoot your guns, have fun, be safe. Thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Now I've used this analogy before, that would be like choosing between Margot Robbie or Charlie's Tron. Now we both know that we're gonna have more fun with Margot Robbie, but Charlie's Tron's probably more versatile, you can introduce it to your parents, loads of other things, whereas I think Margot is a bit more hardcore. <laughs> There's something wrong with me, I'm sure. Oh my word. Now this is a really... <laughs> Woo! Okay, you're a professional.
Get it here. <clears throat> now I'm... <laughs>